evening, ladies and gentlemen in Grand Community. Good evening, NGOs, leaders, graduators in the system, supporters and e-supporters, those fighting for and those fighting against. I salute all of us in the Grand Ecosystem. Today is the 26th of June, 2024. I remain your brother and friend, Reverend Moses from Abuja. I want to react quickly to the apology trending on platforms purported to come from uh, the former spokesperson in person of uh, Comrade OCG. OCG, sir, OCG is critical. Your apology is noticed, but with some high level of uh, history backing it up. Comrade OCG, your apology and the things you wrote in your apology quickly reminded me of uh, the history of the world. When God created the heavens and the earth, according to the book of Ezekiel, he kept the anointed cherub, later on called the devil. He placed Lucifer in the midst of the garden and decorated him with all kinds of precious and expensive stones. In the beauty of Lucifer, iniquity was found in him. The Bible says, until iniquity was discovered in him. O C G sir, I hope at a time iniquity was not discovered in you because when you make your voice note at a point OCG, you are no longer relevant as far as the affairs of things we are concerned. I had done a voice note to challenge your debunking status. When things happen, you do not know them. You come on to debunk. Most times when there is a news, all what you come to react was, you come to debunk. At the point we nicknamed you Instead of being a spokesperson, because you will not have anything to say, unless to debunk what was said. Of course, you have been outside the circuit of information for a very long time. So much that you don't have anything to contribute, you don't have any input. The think tank came up and were very vibrant and all information were gotten from them. When CEOs are holding meetings, eloquent personalities like Olajide Jabbar will always take over the stage. Could this be what has angered you to drop your appointment as the spokesperson of uh, UAG? Despite all that, do not play the role of Lucifer in UAG and her disbursement. For you to come out right now at this critical moment to apologize that you were misled, that you were not uh, informed, that you are not informed is, what, is exactly what Lucifer did. If Lucifer was able to overthrow the almighty God, it would have taken over. You were the spokesperson, you were full of yourself and very proud. The Bible says, pride goes before the fall. You, we are, some of us have made attempts to send messages to you to reduce your level of pride and arrogance. But it never worked until now that you are confessing that you were out of information, you were deluded. You were meant to believe what was not true. If UAAG is not true, your apology is not accepted because you have to go for it. 
You can't just uh, dissuade people, uh, NGOs, and go to the position of a spokesperson. And now you said you have repented. They should forgive you. What about the damages you have caused in Grand Community? If UAD is a false organization, OCG, I advise you that you should go and submit yourself to any government security agencies to probe your involvement. Because you can't come out now and say you were confused to believe the information and the authenticity of UAAG. I pray that you will learn your lessons and learn them fast and retrieve from these steps you are taking. Lucifer never had this opportunity that you may have. Lucifer did that and there was a strong war between the angels of God and Lucifer. Of course, Lucifer succeeded in bringing down one third of the angels of heaven to follow him. As the man in charge of worship and music in the heavenly above, he was able to convince people through, to convince some other angels and they fell down with him. I hope you are not going to convince people with this, your apology. This is your unaccepted apology to dissuade them to follow you into uh, the pit. Grand community, everyone listening to my voice note, let's advise OCG to go and submit himself to the securities to probe him, his involvement and why he's backing out. If UAAG is not true, he shouldn't go anywhere. He should just prepare to go to jail because he has contributed in killing the masses. But by the grace of God, I am not dissuaded. I am not persuaded. I am not forced. I am not cajoled. I am not dreamy. I am not hypnotized to believe that UAD is true and UAD will deliver. God has anointed his servant, Apostle, Ambassador, Professor Ken Wakama, at this critical hour to carry a very sensitive job that not everybody will be carried along. When God wanted to uh, preserve the generation of Abraham, it became necessary for Lot to separate with Abraham. So there was a separation. So all the people coming now to separate, to say things that they ought not to say, in the grand ecosystem, I see them like it is time for Abraham to separate with Lot. And therefore, it is time for Abraham's blessing to come. I believe UAG blessing is about to hit the atmosphere and the financial system of this country. And everybody is going to celebrate. I have received very credible uh, information that it won't be long from now. Uh, celebration is going to be hitting the four corners of this country. Therefore, all subscribers, NGOs, captains of uh, 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 cooperatives, become and wait for the break, breaking news that is about to land in the financial system. Good evening once again, and God bless you. I remain your brother and friend, Reverend Moses from Abuja. Good evening. <laughs>